Hi everyone! So today I want to talk to you about this place called Baños which is located in Ecuador. I just want to give you a few tips and just let you know a few of the activities that you can do there and how much it will cost. In Ecuador the currency is American dollar so Baños is located three and a half hours from Quito which is the capital and in order to go there you can take a bus and the bus it will cost six dollars. Remember all the time check the window because you will see this beautiful volcano that has snow every single day of the year and it's called Cotopaxi. When you arrive to the town, as soon as you leave the bus station, you just literally cross the street and you will have like maybe five or even six hotels. They are buildings, they are nothing fancy. It will cost $25 for this room with one bathroom. If you want to go even cheaper than that, you can go and just walk one block, two blocks or even three blocks and you will find more houses and they will charge you like $7. I pay $7, uh, they give me free Wi-Fi, I had to share the bathroom but my room has two beds so it was pretty nice. When we get to the town, everywhere that you walk, you will have tourist agencies. The first thing that we did was taking this tour, it's basically one bus without windows and it cost five dollars and they take you to different locations. The first stop that we will have to do is in La Taravita, which is this metal box that at least eight people can go in. Uh, you have to pay two dollars in order to pass them and then you will jump on the bus. They will take you to your second location that it will be this uh, zip lining station. If you wanna do it, it will cost ten dollars. Once again, jump on the bus and they will take you to El Bailón del Diablo which is one of the most amazing places to be um, basically Bailón del Diablo means the devil bowl and there is two ways to go in in order to go inside this area you have to pay one dollar and a half and after that you will see and you will pass this huge bridge that is really high up again and you will see another waterfall then after walking a little bit more you will get to the point that you are behind the waterfall. Finally, they will take you back to the town. I recommend you to go to the other side of the Pailón del Diablo because that area is like even better. So you have to walk, you have to kind of pass through rocks in order to get to the point where you will see this waterfall and in the middle of the waterfall, it will be this amazing and huge rock that is pretty much the devil's face. So now, this is really important for you guys and you have to learn this. In this town you can rent motorcycles, bicycles, scooters and all the time double check the price in different locations. Even for any tour that you are taking, just double check the price because some people want to charge more if they see that you are from other country. Uh, we went to one of the places and they told my friend, he is from Germany, they told him that it would be $60 for renting one motorcycle for two hours. Then we just crossed the street and these guys told us $30. And then we'll just walk a little bit more and these other guys told us $20. So now we decide to go to the tree house. This is pretty cool because it's 25 minutes from the little town. In order to go inside, you have to pay $3. So this is pretty neat because the tree house is just in the border of one of the mountains and it has a swing. There is nothing that you will fall into, so it's like a 40 meter fall. The next day we decide to take this tour that you have to go six waterfall down. This is one of the most scary things that I ever done. So if you are brave enough and you are not scared of water and height, this is super amazing. So basically you will do zip lining, rock climbing, a little bit of it, uh, rappelling and jumping waterfalls. If you jump the second waterfall, there is no way back. So you have to continue, even if you get scared, you have to continue going down the other waterfalls. So by the third uh, waterfall, that is one of the scary ones because it's a nine meter jump and the amount of water is just insane. So you just have to jump on the bubbles 
and the tourist guide has to throw you a rope that if you don't grab it usually the water take you behind the waterfall and then you start drowning a little bit and another terrifying thing here is that when you grab the rope the tourist guide just brings you closer to him and you have to stand up in the border of the next waterfall that is like 40 feet tall so again it's quite scary but we just keep doing it something that is really neat about this tour is that cost $50 it was nice because you they give you even lunch after the trip so it's three hours that you will spend with them and you will pay 50 so it's pretty cheap So this town is really small, but the amount of things that you can do here is extreme. So basically you can do rafting, hang gliding, uh, zip lining, bungee jumping, biking, and so much more. Now, if you are concerned about food, you can find different prices and you can find dishes from $20 to $3 and a lot of street food too. So it's really nice. And that's it guys, that was my experience. If you have any questions, just let me know and I will answer them. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope this helped you a little bit. See you soon, bye.